cancer is a highly morbid, highly deadly disease. And unfortunately, its incidence is ever increasing worldwide. There are approximately 50,000 patients um, diagnosed each year in the United States uh, with 10,000 deaths reported annually. Um, unfortunately, most of the patients, when they're diagnosed, they have advanced disease. And uh, these patients have a very poor prognosis with a five-year survival, survival rate of less than 50%. We're seeing an increase uh, due to human papillomavirus. And so um, as the increase in tumors due to human papillomavirus goes up, um, even though there's a decrease in tumors related to smoking and alcohol, um, the overall incidence of these cancers has been on the rise worldwide. One huge issue is that after the initial diagnosis and treatment, if mouth cancer comes back, it is deadly. Um, unfortunately, oral cancer is a, a highly deadly disease. The majority of patients um, have advanced disease at the time of their diagnosis. Um, and this is unfortunate because that drops their overall survival rate to less than 50% um, and can go as low as only 30%. So it's a very deadly disease and it has a high rate of morbidity, meaning um, the treatment results in, a, in disfigurement and a lot of um, difficulties with speech and swallowing. Um, so if we can catch it earlier, that would be great. Um, but unfortunately, it's usually caught in an advanced stage. Um, and most of those patients, up to 75%, will have a recurrence within two years. Um, and this is uh, really bad because within six months they usually will die. And that's even with additional therapies such as chemotherapy, radiation, um, and additional surgery. Oral cancers can be aggressive and deadly, but there is hope in the form of research that is going on right here at the UT Health San Antonio Dental School. Not only sophisticated research, but often it comes back to nature itself. In this case, the thyme plant. My laboratory is interested in developing new treatments for oral cancer. And so um, we've developed a number of compounds that are um, based on um, natural compounds found in nature. So uh, for example, these studies use thymol, which are derived from plants such as thyme and oregano. UT Health San Antonio has a patent on a thymol mouth rinse to prevent oral cancer and on its mechanism of action to use as a treatment for oral cancer. Tell me a little bit about what we're, we're doing here and what we've discovered here lately. Exactly. So our goal is to develop new therapies to either prevent recurrent disease or to treat advanced disease. Um, another scientist in the Health Science Center was doing a screen of native plants found in Texas, and from that screen she identified a compound called thymol. What is your vision for if this is a mouth rinse, how would it be used by the patient, and, and what effects, if everything works, would it have on the patient? Well, ideally, um, we can develop this into a mouth rinse that can be used um, to prevent primary cancers. So um, this could be used in uh, patients who are at high risk, such as uh, heavy drinkers or smokers, and then also um, to prevent recurrences in patients who have already been treated for oral cancer. In order to move this into a clinical application, um, our goal is to do clinical trials um, using our patient population here in San Antonio. Um, ideally, we would start with patients who have already or recently completed treatment for cancer and allow them to use this mouth rinse two to three times a day and follow their recurrence rates with the um, goal of extending those rates out past two years. So if we could develop this into an effective mouth rinse that prevents recurrence, we could hopefully extend their survivorship for, for many years to come.